Hey guys, I'm Dr. Asif. I'm Peter Irfan. Welcome to Uppia Fitness. Fight and Durant Rice. In this video, we will be able to use the three main protein sources of vegetarians. If you have non-vegetarians, you will be able to use chicken, mutton, egg, fish and other protein sources. So, we will be able to reach the daily protein requirements. But in vegetarian food, there is no protein source. So, we will be able to use the daily protein requirements for muscle building. So, we will be able to see this video last week. Suppose if you have already subscribed to our channel, press the subscribe button and press the subscribe button and press the bell icon. Then we will notify you about our future videos. Okay, let's go to the protein food. First protein source is legumes. That's why we have legumes. We have legumes in 100 grams. We have 9 grams of protein. We have 27 grams of carbs. We have 2-3 grams of fats. So if you are lean, weight gain and muscle build, you will need a perfect choice for legumes. If you don't have weight gain, legumes are very useful for weight gain. If you look at fat loss, legumes are very useful for fat loss. If you look at legumes, there is a fiber content in legumes. If you have 100 grams of legumes, you have 8 grams of fiber. So, if you have fiber, you will need insulin spike in our body. If you have energy in our body, you will need energy in our body. You will need a little bit of energy in our body. So, your energy is less than fat or less than fat as well. There is a great amount of protein in legumes, but it is complete protein. We will do a video in the future of complete protein in the future. So, if you are notified, press the bell icon. Okay, back to the topic. Legumes are not a complete protein source, but we will do a complete protein source. For example, rice. Rice is a complete protein source, but it is a complete protein source. Rice is a complete protein source. Okay, now we will do a complete protein source. Rice is a complete protein source. Rice is a complete protein source. Rice is a complete protein source. Soya family. So, soya family is what we are going to do. Soya beans, soya paneer, soya chanks, soya milk. This is what we are going to do in soya family. So, if you are going to do this, soya chanks. So, soya chanks is 52 grams of protein, 33 grams of carbs and 0.5 grams of fat. So, soya chanks is mostly protein. This is very useful for weight loss. Soya chanks are not soya products. We have an estrogen problem, man boobs, and we have a lot of soya products. So, this is a detailed video in the future. So, now you have to eat a moderate amount of soya in your diet. In your diet, you can see 25g of protein in soya. What is the benefit of soya? Soya is a complete protein source. So, you have to add more protein source to soya. Okay, now we will look at the 3rd protein source. Dairy products. So, dairy products are pearl, thyr, paneer, and so on. So, we have 100 ml of milk. We have 3.4g of protein. And curd and paneer are 100 grams of protein and 11 grams of protein. So, vegetarians have a muscle build for dairy products. If you want to use pal, you can use low-fat products. Why? Because we don't have fat in pal. In pal, it's saturated fat. If we use saturated fat, it's not a heart problem. If we use the fat, it's not a heart problem. If you use the dairy products, it's not a heart problem. So, if you use the dairy products, it's not a low-fat product. Muscle build is daily 1 gram per pound of body weight protein. You have daily 30-40 grams of protein in your legumes and 30-40 grams of protein in dairy products and 25 grams of protein in your soya products. You can get easy 100 grams of protein in one day. And if you eat food like rice, chapati, vegetables, dosa, you can get 40 grams of protein. So, you can get supplements in 140 grams of protein. Proteins are easy to do one day. Suppose if you have 70 kg of body weight, you will have to add a muscle build. You will add 1 scoop of whey protein to your diet and reach your daily protein requirement. Suppose you don't have whey protein, but you don't have any knowledge. We have already done a whey protein in a detailed video. That is the link in the description. So, if you look at this video, you will see that video. If you look at the vegetarian question, there is no lean protein source. So, there is no carbs, fats, and there is no protein in the food for the vegetarians. So, if you have to do fat loss, if you have a calorie deficit diet, you have to reach a lot of vegetarian protein requirements. So, you can do a lot of whey protein in the diet. If you look at this video, subscribe to our channel. Let's do it in the next video.